all right so i fixed my pc issues i had a thing where my 3ds like wouldn't um connect to the pc and stuff like that and i was like glad because i had recorded a cell phone video and i was like okay that looks 10 times as bad so i really wasn't feeling it and um yeah so here's a battle with my boy pan pan once again he's gonna lead off with his galvantula and i'm gonna start off with my zipstrika um i had led off with it um mainly because i was carrying the flame charge i wanted to get the free speed boosts um but yeah i thought i would kill it in one hit but maybe he has some defensive investment or it's just because flame charge is a low powered move but um yeah i also thought that he would have went for a giga drain or something to get health back and then um, give me that sap zipper boost so i can start like one shotting stuff but that didn't happen um but yeah i take it out and so i have the uh, plus two speed right now i didn't want to stay in fearing the earthquake because i'm pretty sure that would have killed me or something and so i switch into my swampert but I also switched into my Swampert because of webs. Like it's already slow, so like webs aren't really gonna do anything to affect it. But it caught me off guard. Um, he actually had Sunny Day, um, and so he does go for the Stealth Rock. So I assume that he went for Sunny Day because um, it weakens Water type attacks, and it makes Reggie Rock twice as fat in that sense. But um. Yeah, so the toxic is gonna miss i had used earthquake because i thought that he was gonna switch into his salazzle um since it's immune to um toxic anyways and then that would have been a free turn on his end but he stayed in um took a good bit of damage um he earthquakes me again and then i get the toxic on him this time so i can get in that extra chip damage you know what i am saying And I'm going to switch out here because uh, I didn't want him to get any more damage on me because he was doing a good amount of damage for Reggie Rock. You know what I'm saying? Um, plus, I wanted to come in and let my Milotic get the uh, defense boost with the Flame Orb here. So that was good. And then um, I switched it back out. Because I honestly, I don't know what I was doing here. Um. Oh, okay. Yeah, so what had happened was that um, I, for, I didn't know that Reggie Rock had got an explosion. But for some reason, it was in my mind that I should just switch it back. And yeah, so I don't know what happened here. I will be honest, man. If yeah, I go for the Scald, um, the damage isn't going to matter that much because he's toxic. He's going to go down anyways. So we took care of that boy. And so he's going to send in his Victory Bell. Um, I am switching out because with the Sun Up, um, I'm pretty sure this has Chlorophyll or something. I should probably ask him. But you already know what's good. I'm going to switch in here and he does go for the Solar Beam. thought that he would have went for a leaf blade or something there um but i mean grass is grass it's just as good for me and so he sends in his landers which unfortunately has intimidate because if it didn't give me minus one attack i'm pretty sure this would have done twice if not like a a pretty good amount of damage to it um it's actually surprising that it did that much given that it resists it, but that's probably because it has life orb on it too. So I just flex with kamikaze status and I just go for the double edge just to get as much damage off on it as possible. Um, I really didn't care because um, I knew it was going to hit earthquake anyway. So I wanted to hope it went for U-turn or something, but I figured that he would want to kill me. So it's not that bad. So I come back into the Swampert, um, mainly just to finish it off, because there's no sun or anything. 
but it kind of caught me off guard that he did have fly on it so i wanted to assume he had flying mz or something but i think he has leftovers i was like so oblivious in that moment but um yeah so he comes down um dies to the scald and that's what i like about um this swampert i have I think I have like max HP and like max bedef on it. No, I think I have a lot of defense on it and some special defense, no speed or anything. But mainly just so it's bulky and can like, I don't want to say toxic stall, but be there to take hits and stuff whenever I need to uh, play the mind game shenanigans and then get my zip striker set up and whatnot. And so I'm gonna toxic on his Galisopod there. And at this point, I'm just going to sack it off because I can't outspeed it anyways. So it's no use keeping it around. So he's going to leech life and then um, take out my Swamper anyways. Crit didn't matter. I'm pretty sure it would have died. So now we send in Thick Boy. And um, we're going to start to wear this thing down. I'm just using Icy Wind to lower its speed for whatever reason. I kind of just wanted to hit it. Um, it wasn't necessarily a thing like, I, I really don't know because I don't have anything to hit this. Now, if I had like HP Electric or something, that would have been clutch. Because uh, Glacipod's special defense is like okay. So it would have done a good amount of damage. But um, sitting here and letting the Toxic do the work for me is just as good. So I am not complaining. And so he's going to keep uh, trying to recover with Leech Life. I think Poison... Um, I think recovery through poison is only good for like the first three turns or so because after that is whenever you like lose like half your hp um i'm just gonna scald there and just keep like chipping it down see he's he's doing a good amount of damage imagine if my mylotic didn't have marvel scale defenses right now it probably would have been dead I feel like a bad person because all I do is sit here and click recover and it's what bad people do, you know? So the emergency exit is going to do its job and take him out um, and so he goes back, back into the victory battle. So I'm going to send in my Rose Raid. And this is that new Scarfed Rose Raid that I've been playing with on Showdown, and it is a beast, man. Like, you ever, like, 1v1 Mega Charizard and kill it with a Rose Raid? A freaking Grass-type, yo. Like, don't get me wrong, there was rocks up anyways, but yo. It's pretty sick stuff. It's next level. I'm, like, living in 2035 with this tech, man. But I don't know, I'm like stroking, I'm like stroking myself to uh, this set I made. Because it, it has to be played with a certain team though, don't get me wrong. I'm going to switch out there because I don't want to take a fire blast from that. Like I could have stayed in and used extra sensory. Um, it would have been fine if rocks weren't up because then I could probably outspeed it I think. So he's going to switch out there. I have... Um, assault vest on my Latias so um, stuff isn't gonna do a lot of damage to hit me I took off scarf because I was tired of like having to switch for like every move change and like the predictions and stuff like that is extra work so he's gonna hit me with the dragon pulse I'm pretty sure if I wasn't um, AV that that would have killed me so um yeah and so i finish him off with the side shock and that's the game right there some ggs bro 
it's always fun to battle with my peeps yo like i really enjoy it a lot but um all right guys i'll see you in the next one y'all have a great day